Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Arun Ready Tech for You. In this video, we are going to discuss about looping statement. So friends, if you don't want to miss my video, please subscribe my channel Arun Ready Tech for You and don't forget to like my videos. Coming to the control statement, control statement generally divided into three categories: branching, looping, and jumping. So in previous video, we already discussed about branching statements. So in this video, we are going to discuss about looping statement, and in next video, we will see about jumping statement. So coming to the loops, loops is nothing but repeatedly executing a block of statement. So if you want to execute a block of statement repeatedly, then we use loops. Okay, so looping statements are further divided into two categories: entry control loop and exit control loop. Entry control loop means where the condition will be at the top of the body, and uh, exit control loop where the condition will be at the bottom of the body. So let us see how many types of entry control loop and what are the exit control loop we have. So entry control loop further divided into exit, uh, sorry, for loop and while loop, and exit control loop is uh, further uh, we have a do while loop. Okay, so let's start from for loop, then we'll move to the while loop and do while loop. So coming to the for loop, of course it's a entry control loop, and uh, we can also say as a precondition. Okay, so it will execute a block of statement repeatedly. And uh, it will help us in decreasing uh, in the one line. Suppose if you have a multiple line, same thing you want to execute multiple times, so it will decrease into one line. So you can see a syntax in the for loop. We have a initialization, text expression, and updation. And uh, in the body of loop, we have a statements. So let us see what is this initialization, text expression, and updation. Initialization where we will initialize a value. Suppose if I want to initialize i is equal to one, we can do it in the initialization. Text expression, text expression, for example. If I want to keep a condition i less than equals to ten, so if a condition is satisfied, it will execute the body of the loop. Otherwise, it will come out of the loop. Okay, text expression is also called as a condition, and uh, update expression. Update expression we have either increment or decrement. So it's must to have an update expression to end a loop. Without update expression, uh, your end uh, loop will not end. So for example, you can see i plus plus. So i plus plus is nothing but a i value every time it will increase by one. So you can see a small example here. I is equal to zero. I is equal to zero is the initialization value, and uh, we have a text expression i less than equals to five and increment as a i plus plus, or we can call it as a update expression. And you can also see a uh, statement print a percentile d comma i. So i value we are printing. So let us see an example. Okay. In this example, I have taken three flowchart, program, and output. On the left side, you have a flowchart. In middle you have a program and right side you have a output. So in this program I have taken two variables i and n, and uh, you can see I am using scanf to initialize n value, and uh, you can see in the for loop I have initialized i is equal to one, and uh, red color I have given for the body of loop so you can understand which is the body of loop. So red color which uh, the body which contains red color is the body of the loop. Okay, so you can see. The program and let me run this program and let us see how this will work. So when run, I run the program, you can see the cursor is uh, my arrow is symbol is waiting for the uh, near scanf. So now it, it is in the scanf. Okay, so you can see first it has printed enter last number and waiting for the n value. So I will enter n value as three. So immediately the n uh, three value is stored in the n next. I is equal to one, so uh, now I will become one. So condition I less than equals to n. That means one less than equals to three. Yes, condition satisfied. So what it will do next? It will go and uh, it will print I value. So what is I value? One. So it print I value. Next again, it will come back to the for loop, and uh, this time it will increase I value by one. That means I value will increase by two. Oh, sorry, I value will increase two. So one, it will increase two. Why it is increasing two? Because I have given i plus plus. I plus plus is nothing but a i is equal to i plus one. That means i is equal to one plus one. So every time the value will increase by one. I value will increase by one. Okay. So now you can see uh, it will check the condition two less than equals to yeah uh, sir i less than equals to n. That means two less than equals to Three yes, condition satisfied. It will print two. It will come again and it will increase by one value. And now again it will check the value. Now three the i value is three. Three less than equals to n. Yes, again condition satisfied. It will print three. 
now it again come to the for loop now i less than equals to n that means 4 this time i will be increase 4 right so 4 less than equals to 3 no condition fails so what it will do it will come out of the loop so you can see on the output it is printing 1 2 3 and end of the program nice right so now let us see what how a while loop will run while loop is also a entry control loop which is precondition and uh, it will execute number of times and uh, it will execute depending on the condition so once condition is fails it will stop okay so you can see a syntax while text expression statement update expression and close bracket okay so a small example you will see say example i less than equals to 3 that is the condition and uh, printf percentile d i that is a statement and update expression i plus plus as i said update expression is mandatory so without that our loop will not end okay so again coming to the program this time i have taken scanf i and scanf n so both the values i am initializing using scanf okay so this time i, I again i have run the program so first enter first value so it is waiting for i value i will enter one so i one will store in the i next it is waiting for n value enter last number so i will enter 5 okay so i value is 1 and 5 value is n so the condition is i less than equals to n yes 1 less than equals to 5 so it will print 1 it will increase by 1 okay so it will print 1 and uh, i plus plus means it will become 2 again it will come back again now 2 less than equals to 5 yes condition satisfied it will print 2 it will become 3 again come back 3 less than equals to n so on it will print till 5 now after 5 again it will become 6 right i value will become 6 and it will go back to the while loop now it will check the condition yes i less than equals to n 10 uh, sorry 6 less than equals to yeah, 5 no condition fail because 6 is not less than equals to 5 so condition fail immediately it will jump out of the program see now we can see on the output it will print 1 2 3 4 5 till 5 it has printed after that it will go to the end of the program it will print end of the program right so what happened now let us take another example i will take another example i will start again from the starting so i will again run the program this time i will take first number as 5 and last number as 1 so let us see how it will work so again first number 5 last number 1 okay now you can see it is checking the condition 5 less than equals to 1 is the condition true no false so it will come out of the program so you can see on the output it is printing directly end of the program right nice right now let us come to the do while loop do while loop is the entry control loop it will terminate based on the condition again so if condition fails it will stop okay so the main difference is uh, main difference of the do while loop means it is a it will check the condition at the end of the program okay so at the end of the body it will uh, check okay right so there is a note in do while loop the loop body will execute at least once irrespective of condition so whatever the condition is it will definitely execute once why it will we will see in the program okay so you can see a syntax do see we don't have a condition at the starting do statement update expression while so at end we have a condition so let us see example c do printf percentile d i it's a statement update expression i plus plus at last we have a condition and remember there is a note without semicolon your loop will not end so at the end of the loop you have to mention semicolon for do while loop okay so let us run the program and see same i will take i will take the same uh, same program which i have done in the while loop i value n value i value is the first value n value is the last value and i will take the same uh, condition so let's run the program see uh, now i have run the program my uh, enter first value my cursor is waiting for the i value so i will enter 1 5 okay so immediately it will print see it is, first it is not checking the condition directly it is going to the printing right so it will print 1 it will next it will increase by 1 okay so 1 plus 1 2 so it will become 2 2 less than equals to 5 yes condition satisfy again it will go back to do and it will print second like this it will print till 5 okay so see now it uh, till it 5 it has printed now it will increase by 1 so it will come now to the while condition now in the while condition it will check 6 less than equals to 5 condition fails so what happens it will come out of the loop nice right this is so let us now again uh, do a same experiment which we have done in the while we will give first number as a highest and last number as a lowest so let us uh, do okay so first number i will type 5, five and last number 1 okay so it will print 5 see it is not checking the condition it is printing 
so you did you remember the note what is the note it will at least execute once the body of the loop will execute at least once irrespective of condition so next it is checking the condition but automatically it has printed first it has printed then it is checking the condition so what is the condition um, already it has printed 5 i value is 5 and it is increased to i plus 1 now it is checking 6 less than equals to n condition fails so what happens it will come out of so once it has printed already 5 right so whatever the condition is one time the do while loop will execute that that's why it is called as exit control loop your condition will be at the last so let's once see the difference between a while loop and do while loop you can see condition at the top so in while loop we have a condition at the top and uh, do while loop the condition will be at the bottom in while loop the condition will check first then statement is executed in do while loop statement is executed at least once then after condition is checked so once you executing after it is checking the condition okay so in while loop if the condition is false it will not execute the statement in do while loop at least once the statement will execute irrespective of condition so whatever the condition may be false or true but first it will execute once okay so at least once it will definitely execute in while loop we doesn't need to have a semicolon at the end of the uh, so end of the condition and uh, in the do while loop we will keep a semicolon at the end okay so in while loop is a entry control loop and a do while loop is exit control loop so friends i hope you understood different between a while loop and do while loop thank you keep practicing